Hi everybody, Harris here with iDownload Blog, and in today's video, we're taking a look at focus modes for the iPhone, what they are, how to use them, and how to best take advantage of them. Let's go ahead and get started. So there are several ways of initiating focus modes on your iPhone. The standard one would be via control center, pulling down from the top right hand corner. So you can see the standard, do not disturb, and then the other focus modes. If you tap on the three dots for any of these, you can schedule them for just a certain amount of time. So for one hour until the next kind of time period or until you leave this location. You also have the ability to open up and customize the settings for that particular mode, or you can create your own one here. Now in this video, I wanna show you how you can get the most out of your focus modes. So if you go into settings and we go under focus, you can see your options here. Now what's interesting about these modes is that there's actually three that have special features versus if you create your own, it won't have those features. So the three modes that have special features would be the do not disturb, the driving and the sleep mode. So do not disturb is special because it has this schedule. So you can schedule it when it goes on and off right within the settings of do not disturb. Now there's other ways of doing this if you want to have the schedule feature for um, the other modes, which I'll show you in a little bit how to do that. Secondly, there is the driving. Now with the driving, you have this auto reply feature. And this auto reply is pretty self-explanatory, but when you're using this, it'll actually let you send a message um, to anyone who messages you. And this is cool because you can use this for driving, but you could also kind of use this for your own custom message. So say you're taking a day off from using technology, you could set this up and people will know that they're not to expect a response from you that day or the next few days. So if you're away from your phone, maybe for a weekend or a retreat, this would be a pretty cool way to kind of appropriate the driving focus mode. And you also have the ability to uh, control when this shows up. And then finally, the sleep mode can integrate with Apple's sleep feature uh, in the health app. And if you have an Apple Watch, you're probably used to this, which includes a wind down and a schedule. So you can actually go through and kind of tell your phone what your general sleep time, uh, bedtime routine is, and it will use the sleep focus mode in conjunction with that, which goes into the health app, like I mentioned. So those are the three modes that have special features, but otherwise the features are up to you to decide. Now what's special is that within each mode, you have several options which are really powerful. Obviously you can choose people that you want to be included uh, to go through your filter. For instance, I have one for work and I had my work contacts here for people that could get through so that I could be at work and have my phone on a focus mode, but still get important notifications. And I could also have certain apps that could get through as well, including calendar and Gmail. And I can add other things such as Slack. Now what's also really cool about these is your ability to change your lock screen, your home screen, as well as even your Apple watch screen. So if you go into this, you can choose which lock screen you want. So let's say I work on something less distracting. So I'll go in and choose a custom one. I'll just do color and I'll just make it black, black gradient. So I'll click add and set wallpaper pair. So now when I turn on the work focus mode, you can see my wallpaper is now black. And you can also choose which pages show up on your home screen. So if I wanted just a page with work related apps and a calendar and stuff like that, I can do that. And all of a sudden this is the only page that's going to show up when I turn on this mode, which is really handy. And you can do this for all your modes. So if you have a sleep mode, uh, a work mode and a relaxing mode, you can customize which pages and which apps show up. And of course you want to customize this. You hold down your lock screen, click the dots and you turn pages on or off. And if you want to create a new page, you just drag an app to that new page and you can start working on that. And then you can enable it or disable it with the dots. Now filters are also a really powerful feature. So back to this work one, I have it set to filter my calendars. So when I go into the calendar application, it'll only show certain calendars as well as in messages, it'll only show people who are included in this list. So it's a really handy way. And you can see some other filters there. So just turning dark mode on or off, Outlook, Safari and more. So you can filter certain applications based off of what mode you're in. You also have the ability to share your focus status. So this will mean that other people, when they're messaging you, will be able to see that you are in a focus mode. It'll say the same thing no matter what mode you're in. And you can choose which ones notify people and which ones do not. And depending on your settings, if you have this turned on, people will actually be able to bypass your do not disturb setting and still reach you if they go through it twice. 
Now one handy thing to do is to create a shortcut with your focus modes. So let's create one. And we'll have it set focus. We'll say personal. And we'll simply, yeah, we'll turn it on until turned off. And actually, I'm going to call this one gym. And I'll click done. Okay, so now what this lets me do is go into automation. And automation allows me to do a whole bunch of different variables. So like I said, if you want to create an automation or do timing for your focus modes, you can do that through here. And there's really no limit. So you could do things such as CarPlay, when CarPlay connects in your car. When you leave a certain address, when wind down starts at a certain time of the day, when a certain person messages you, when you start a workout, when you open a certain app, when your battery gets to a certain level, all these type of things. You can choose one of these. Let's just say when I arrive at the gym and you can choose a location and you can do any time or during certain hours. And then generally I would say run immediately next. And then I'm going to do my gym shortcut. So now when I arrive at Campion Hall, it will automatically put me into the gym focus mode, which can change my wallpaper, who can alert me, what apps are on my home screen, and more. Now if you really want to go the extra mile, you can go into accessibility and touch, and you do back tap, and you can choose what you want for the back tap. So for me, I had it go ahead and put on the do not disturb shortcut that I made, again, in the shortcut app here, I made a shortcut. And now when I double tap the back, it'll activate do not disturb. Now I do it again, it'll turn it off. So this is great when I'm in a meeting or something like that uh, and I want to turn on do not disturb, but I don't want to be seen pulling out my phone. I can simply turn on this mode. Now another feature is the ability to add these focus modes to your lock screen. So to do this, you hold down on your lock screen, click customize, click lock screen, and then you will tap on the widget view and you can scroll down and you can click shortcuts. And if you've created a shortcut, you can go ahead and add it here and you actually add multiple. So for instance, this one, I can customize to gym. So it'll run that gym shortcut. And this one, I'm gonna turn on to do not disturb. So now my lock screen, if I do not disturb, as well as my personal one right there from the lock screen, which is really handy. So in the Shortcuts app, you can actually create a folder and you could call these focus modes and you could add all your focus modes into here. Another way to access your focus modes is to hold on to your home screen, click the plus button, and then you go down to Shortcuts. And then you can see, you can choose how many shortcuts you want to show up. Go ahead and add four, click Add Widget. And then you customize this by clicking Edit Widget. And you can turn on Focus, then all of your Focus widgets would sync right there. Alternatively, the third way of doing this is in your shortcuts. You can go into it, click Add to Home Screen. You can choose what it looks like, and you click Add. And all of a sudden, you have a shortcut just for that now. So those are some of the ways to use and customize Do Not Disturb and Focus Modes for your iPhone. Let me know if you have any questions and thanks so much for watching.